Hello, hello! My name is Callista, and welcome back to Danganronpa 2. Goodbye, despair. In the last episode, we finished exploring, not exploring, investigating. We finished investigating at Titty Typhoon, and it seems that Hajime is going to go elsewhere. So we have, we have the cinema to go and investigate, and we also have the key that we found in Hiyoko's kimono. So I would assume we'd have to go and investigate the motel. So let's let's see where Hajime wants to go first. All right, with this, we might be close to finished investigating the music venue. But I still need to talk to Mikan. I need to make sure I get those autopsy results from her. Okay, fair dues, I had actually completely forgotten about that. How about it, Mikan? Have you found out anything by now? Ah! <laughs> to tell you the truth, it's been very inconclusive. You got it wrong! But it's not my fault! This music venue is just too hot! Because of the heat, I can't estimate the time of death! Because of the heat? Is that possible? <laughs> if a body is overexposed to heat or cold, you won't be able to determine a precise time of death! I think you've outed yourself there, Mikan, because it... From Hajime's reaction, I I would assume most of the other students wouldn't know that. The only people who would know that would be people who have some kind of medical training or have an interest in true crime. That's you and Sonia. You are probably the only two people currently still alive who would... I mean, few Hiko would know that. I had completely forgotten about Fuyuhiko, but so three of them. There are only three people on this island who would know that. And like I I, I know this is just my own gut feeling. I out of the three of them, I would put money on it being Mikan. Because she would be the one who would have developed the despair disease. Because she was constantly hanging around the patients. With the compression on uh, Hiyoko's throat, I think we can rule out Sonya. Fuyuhiko might know something about that because, you know, he's a, he's a Yakuza and maybe like, oh no, something bad happened and we can't go see a doctor. So like, we just have to compress the wound ourselves. But you would... It, you would assume it would still be sloppy. It would be a slapdash job. Hiyoko's neck wound was very proficient, proficiently, there we go, compressed. It was professional work, not amateur. I, I think Mikan has given herself away with the whole like, oh, the heat was too high. You know, oh, the, I, I can't calculate the time of death. Whoever would have known that? Very few people. You've you've screwed yourself over there by trying to be too clever. You've kind of screwed yourself. If a body is overexposed to heat or cold, you won't be able to determine a precise time of death. I see. That might have been the killer's goal. They covered up their time of death by using the heater to make the inside of the music venue hot. But... That's weird. But... Even if this heat is the killer's doing, is there any reason for them to... Uh, yeah, I was like, who is this? This is Mikan. Even if this heat is the killer's doing, is there any reason for them to cover up the time of death? Because I, I reckon the deaths... No, I, I reckon one death. It, they happened way earlier than people realize. Mikan wants everyone to think, oh, the murder took place when I was in the hospital with um, Hajime. But the murders happened before then. It's, it's all to disguise, it, it's a very clever plan. 
it's exceptionally clever. I really like it. But you, you've completely... You've, you've screwed yourself. That's the only way I can put it. You have screwed yourself by being too clever for your own good. Even if this heat is the killer's doing, is there any reason for them to cover up the time of death? I agree. As long as I saw it, it should be clear what order the murders occurred. First was Ibuki, then Hyoko. Yeah, it's it's not the order that's fucked, it's when. This could have happened at like midnight. Hyoko might have been taking an evening stroll or something. But everything happened much earlier than you realize. And at that point, Mikan has no alibi. Her alibi is that, oh, we were together. He had just seen me go up to the, uh, to the on-call room. Therefore, I have an alibi. But you don't have an alibi for, like, midnight. You don't have an alibi for before you sexually harassed Makoto in his room. It, mmm. First was Ibuki, then Hyoko. Uh. And as long as this is an imitation murder, there shouldn't be any mistaking the order of the murders. What? Huh? Imitation murder? Huh? Huh? You don't know, Hajime? I thought everyone already knew. See? It's a murder where the killer uses a creative work, like a song or a film, as an outline for their killings. So that's how the film comes into play! Oh! I knew what an imitation murder was. I've, I've encountered, you know, I've encountered that in various books and TV shows, but oh! What exactly is The Wizards of Monomy? <laughs> what exactly is this film? It's a murder where the killer uses a creative work, like a song or a film, as an outline for their killings. It's so common in detective novel novels. that's not a word. It's so common in detective novels, mangas, and video games that you start to get annoyed by it. How would an imitation murder be related to this murder? <laughs> well... Based on the killing order and the way they were killed, it's clearly an imitation of that movie. That movie? Good instincts. The assumption is an imitation murder is the reason why the killer killed two people. Hmm. The goal was an imitation killer. What? That is... The goal was an imitation killer. I... That does not read as good grammar to me, but I'll accept it. The goal was an imitation killer. Even so, why did they feel the need to do something like that? Do you have a minute? Excuse me, if this was really an imitation of that movie... Then is it possible that one more person might have been killed? This, too, must be the will of causality. It's certainly conceivable, if the killer wishes to complete the imitation. So this film involves three deaths? Hold on a sec. What are you all talking about? An imitation murder? One more person might have been killed? <laughs> Are you guys worried that there's gonna be another victim? Then no worries! Things would get out of hand too fast if a bunch of people could get killed at once! I'm a real cautious fella, so I've prepared a perfect countermeasure! Hmm... Ahem! On this killing school trip, the same blackened can only kill a maximum of two people! Huh? You mean you've added another rule? Yep. Well, if killing everyone at once is okay, the Blackened would be able to secure an easy victory, right? Yeah, but if... You should have implemented this earlier, because what if... What if 
if someone killed three people before it was a rule? <laughs> this new rule will prevent that. Make sure you slam it into your tiny brains. Um. If it is a maximum of two people, then there will not be any more killings? Um. Since you're here anyway, can I ask you one more thing? You know, I just want to confirm one of the class trial rules. Hmm. I see, I see. As expected of you, you're very strict about games. Perhaps. I don't want to consider this possibility at all, and I don't even want to think someone would do this. If two cases occur at once, what happens if there are two killers? That is interesting. I... I don't think that's the case here. I think Mikan killed Ibuki and Hiyoko was basically just a... She, she was a bystander. She was an unfortunate bystander. I, maybe she was taking a midnight stroll. Maybe she had like some sort of sixth sense that something's going on at the music venue and I need to get there. I don't, I don't know why, but... Hiyoko ended up at the music venue and I think she saw something that she searched. Debe, debe, debe. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for all of the tongue fumbles. I'ma have a sip. Clearly I'm dehydrated. Ah, there we go. Hydration. Always important when playing video games. Chiaki would agree with that. Um... I think Hiyoko was an unfortunate bystander. The the compression on her neck, the way that her wound was effectively treated, that can only be Mikan. Mikan would be would be the only person who could do that to that level of skill. And with Ibuki, I I don't know who else would have killed Ibuki. That's the thing. I would absolutely love to see that though. I would love to see two separate killers who do murders and then like, oh, a second body turns up and they're both like, wait, what? <laughs> I killed this person, so who killed that person? Oh my God, I, I would love to see a case like that. I, I hope that happens. Either in this game or the third, I really hope that happens. If two cases occur at once, what happens if there are two killers? Huh? I will accept that. So... Like I said, I'm talking about the possibility that Ibuki and Hyoko were killed by two different people. That would mean that two killers exist at the same time. But we can only vote for one person, right? I am concerned. If we can only choose one based on a majority vote, the other person could certainly achieve victory. Yep. Yep, you're right. See? So what happens in that case? What about a case where there's three incidents instead of two? Or if four incidents overlap one another? Silence! Sh shut up! It's okay. I'll make extra sure something like that never happens. Because I'm in control of the simulation and I can just press pause whenever I want. Hey. Meaning two killers can exist at the same time. So it's safe to say that applies to this case too, right? Wow. Ugh. I don't like this. All right, fine, fine. That's right, there's always one killer at any given time. Even if they had an accomplice, I'd have you figure out who the mastermind is. This is kind of depressing. Man, I ended up giving you a huge hint. She made me say it. Gamer brains are not to be underestimated. I should just shut up and go back to my cave. I see. So there's no possibility for two killers to exist at the same time. 
With this, I guess that narrows things down a little. Yep. Yep, that makes things a little easier. Fine. Plus, if the same killer can kill a maximum of two people. Taste your powerlessness! It means a third victim would be impossible! Imitation murder breakthrough! You guys keep saying that, and it sounds strange to me. What do you guys mean by imitation? Um... Ah, uh, could it be you haven't seen it? Seen it? Seriously, seen what? So... Like I said, that movie. Oh my! When we first explored this island, Monokuma was passing out invitation tickets. Then the imitation is... Good instincts. Of course, it's an imitation of that movie. Well? Well, based on the murders this time, it closely resembles that movie, as if they were copying it. As if they copied the movie? I see, Nagito mentioned something about that. Then it can't be helped. I guess I'll just rely on my gut feelings. Gut feelings? You should come by later, too. I'll go there first and wait for you. Where exactly are you talking about? Well, obviously the movie theater. You... I see, so you haven't seen it. Still, it's not too late, I think. It's probably a good idea if you watch that movie before the class trial starts. Looks like I need to do that. Um... Then I should get going too. There are other places I want to investigate. Um... Where do you intend to go next, Chiaki? Hmm... Probably the hospital, for sure. The first victim, Ibuki, was there. I don't know what was going on at the hospital in the first place. You are right. Thanks to that despair disease, we could not go there for some time. She's right. It might be good for me to investigate the hospital, too. There might be some clues related to Ibuki's death. For clues related to Hiyoko's death, I should try going over to the motel. There's still a lot of things I can do before the class trial. I'll definitely give it my all until the end. Okay. Okay, let's go. Are we gonna get directed someplace or can we choose? Ooh. Uh, let's go to the third island. To be honest, I'm I'm really intrigued by the movie. That oh, but the motel's right here. Go on, we'll we'll be quick. It's on the way. Okay, Gundam and Fuhiko. I just remembered. I never went inside any of the rooms in the motel. Plus, I don't even know where Hiyoko's room is. It might be faster to just ask someone. Uh, yeah, Gundam. So you have appeared. You're here, right? Come on out! Huh? Are you talking to me? I can see you. Did you really think you could hide your presence like that? I wasn't trying to hide in the first place. Hey, which room was Hiyoko staying in? Listen well! Open the door to the center room. <laughs> However, are you prepared? Make sure you pray to whatever god you hold dear, and you might want to bring an extra pair of underwear. <laughs> I wonder, how does this guy talk to his parents and teachers? Probably like that. Damn right. Hey, Hajime, can you explain it to me again? What happened when you first discovered Ibuki's body? It was the same as when I found it with you guys. Ibuki's body was hanging from the baton lighting. 
However, there was no body discovery amounts. I, I, I don't know what's going on with me today. I honestly don't know what's going on with me today, but my voice feels kind of weird. I don't I don't think I'm sick or anything. I, d To be fair, I'm, I'm reaching that point where my voice is, it's getting strained, so it's probably that. However, there was no body discovery announcement made. That's why I went to get you guys. I met up with Chiaki at this motel, and when we were about to go back to the music venue... I get it. You met up with Mikan and me. And when we went back to the music venue, the entrance door wouldn't open for some reason. I see. So we had no choice but to break down the door, and discovered Hyoko's body was suddenly there too. Yeah, that's what happened. Hey! This is the most important part. When you arrived at the motel, who else saw you besides Chiaki? Well, it was Gundam. It was Gundam and Chiaki, I'm pretty sure. Um, as I recall... And Usami. Didn't you hear me? A body was found! B -b -b body Kia! Could it be? Do you intend to spread lies, like Nagito, in order to confuse us all? Besides Chiaki, I also saw Gundam and Monami. I see. I see. So Kazuichi and Sonya didn't appear, huh? Do you think those two are suspicious? Like... Well, Hyoko was killed. Between the time you saw Ibuki's body and when we broke down the door, right? Nope. Nope, Hyoko was killed... Way before... Hajime saw Ibuki's body. So obviously, those two were the most suspicious since they weren't with us. That... that might be it, but... I... While we're at it, let me tell you my alibi too. When the morning Monokuma announcement woke me up, I went straight to the hospital. I saw Mikan panicking. <laughs> my accent's- I'm so sorry. I'm- my throat. My throat is going. I saw Mikan panicking in front of the hospital. I asked her what's going on. She said Ibuki disappeared. So you guys split up and looked for Ibuki, huh? Well, yeah. While we were circling the island, we came to the motel and saw you guys there. Did you see anyone else while you circled the island? Well. No, we went to the movie theater in that street full of machines to look for Ibuki, but we didn't see anyone. <laughs> Are you implying I don't have an alibi because I didn't run into anyone? It's unreasonable for you to doubt me. The time that Mikan and I were on our own looking for Ibuki wasn't very long. <laughs> In that short time, there's no way I could have killed Hyoko and wrapped her around the pillar with duct tape. There's no way anyone could have done that. If you think about it, there is literally no way for anyone to have killed her, put her up against the pillar, wrapped the duct tape, and then covered up the body. Although, to be fair, the others might not realize that. So, it... But still, it, it's completely impossible. It's completely impossible to do that. Just think it through, people. Think it through. In that short time, there's no way I could have killed Hyoko and wrapped her around the pillar with duct tape. It's true. I feel like there wasn't enough time to do that after I left the music venue. But the fact is, Hyoko was killed, and we did discover her body. Huh? What? Do you still doubt me? Jeez. Well, I'm used to it. It's true, I've done things that I deserve to be doubted for. Huh. So don't worry. Even if you doubt me, I don't plan on dismembering you and encasing you in concrete. Thanks for that. I'd want to know in advance what I'd have to do to end up like that. Fuhiko's account has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Question, can we look in all of them or can we only... Do the middle one. Yeah, Hyoko's room. That's the camera. Yeah, it looks like we can only enter one. Looks like it's locked, but... 
The key was inside her kimono. Maybe if I use this. Aha! It opened. Just as I thought. This key was Hiyoko's room key. Alright, I should go inside. Okay, what have we got? Okay. So, Hiyoko was staying here. Yeah, it's a pretty nice room. She only stayed here a few nights, so it doesn't really feel like her room, but... I feel a little conflicted. Oh my! Uh-huh. Did the door open? Yeah, Hiyoko put the key in her kimono, so I used that to open it. Um... I see. Hmm. What? Did something happen? No, it is just... I am starting to believe it might be my fault. Her fault? What does she mean? What do you mean, Sonia? Let me just... Uh -huh. No. There we go. That should be the final hidden Monokuma for this island. Okay, we have a few things. I'll I'll speak to Sonia first. Go on. Um The moment Tioko came to this motel, she completely shut herself in this room. She was afraid of the despair disease, so she was cautious of you guys too, right? However... However, her fear of the disease was not the only reason she locked herself in her room. She had another reason. Besides that disease, what other reason would make her lock herself in her room? Perhaps... Her kimono. Her kimono? Um... Um... Yesterday, I went to go talk to her. Since she'd been in her room for some time, I told her it might be good for her to go outside for a bit. She kept the door to her room locked, but by coincidence, it was not locked at that time. And then I saw it. Um... Oh... She couldn't dress herself. Mahiru taught her some things, but clearly it didn't stick. I mean, here's the thing: she got a she got a crash course on how to properly tie a kimono. That it takes me a while to learn new stuff, so I'm not I'm not having a go at her for saying that she didn't remember Mahiru's lessons. I know I wouldn't. I most certainly wouldn't. I'm completely cack-handed, so it. That's understandable. Hiyoko was crying and struggling with her kimono sash. She did not want to smell bad, so she took a shower, but then she could not tie her sash anymore. Mahiru is no longer with us, so I believe she was having trouble with it. She didn't leave her room because she couldn't tie her... Oh, no, this is Hajime. She didn't leave her room because she couldn't tie her kimono, huh? You are right. The others might have thought it was just a silly sash, but it must have been a serious issue for her. Um... Hiyoko told me that she learned how to tie her sash from Mahiru. That Mahiru kindly taught her the basics. That's why she wanted to be able to tie her sash on her own. I get that. I get that. it That would just reinforce the idea of, oh, she's a child. A, a child. A child. She can't even dress herself. And it's it's not like she's wearing something simplistic like jeans and a t-shirt. You know, she's, she's wearing a kimono. That is an intricate item of clothing. It would be extraordinarily difficult for her to, to clothe herself, but I'm sure it's doable. And the fact that she, like, at her age, that she doesn't know how to do that, yet she is a traditional dancer. This is the garb she dresses in every day. And she has been prevented from learning that because everyone has said, Oh, no, no, we'll do it for you. We'll do it for you. Let us treat you like a doll. Let us treat you like a small child. And that must be, that must be so 
demeaning, so upsetting. I never had to deal with that because obviously I never wore intricate clothing. I wore jeans and a t-shirt, you know, so I, I never had to deal with, you know, being a, a teenager and having someone say, hey, let me dress you for you. But like, like I've said this before, I have a lot of empathy for Hiyoko as a former lolly to a current lolly. Well, she's not a current lolly anymore. Ooh, sad times. Um, but I, from one lolly to another, I have a great deal of empathy because it is a, it's a bullshit situation. It is a bullshit situation and no one ever realises how much, how much you deal with. No one ever does. So I, I get where she was coming from in that regards. And just, she had finally learnt the basics, but she had only just learnt them. And her practice is now her, ha like, oh, I, I, she doesn't have time to practice because there's no one there to correct her mistakes if she makes them. So she's de she just decided, oh, you know what, I'm going to stay in my room. And just, that must have been such a miserable, a miserable few days before she died, you know, feeling useless, like, oh, I can't even dress myself, and I'm having to hide away because I'm so embarrassed, and then she died. Damn. That's why she wanted to be able to tie her sash on her own. Perhaps. She probably could not forgive herself for not being able to do it, especially since Mahiru taught her. I... I... I could not really understand her feelings, which is why I said what I did. What did you say? I... I, th I think I... I noticed in the bathroom there's a face mirror. You wouldn't be able to tie a kimono sash with a face mirror. You'd need a full-length mirror like the ones in the music venue. I think that's why she went. What did you say? Hmm. Hyoko, by chance, are you having trouble wearing your kimono? Stupid! What are you saying? Of course I can do it! Because Mahiru taught me. That's why I can do it on my own. Uh, um, if that is the case, how about you do it someplace where there is a mirror? Oh. And the only full length mirrors on this island are at the Titty Typhoon. And that's when she walked in, saw something she shouldn't have, and that's why she had to die. Oof. Major oof. Do you remember the full length mirror in the storage room at the music venue? If you do it while standing in front of a large mirror, I am confident you will be successful. Also, shutting yourself in your room like this may be bad for your health. Um... And that was when she kicked me out. It cannot be! Could it be Hyoko remembered that? Are you saying she went to the music venue to wear her kimono? Hmm, I can see that happening. Hiyoko locked her room and made sure she put the room key inside her kimono. I can't imagine that she was abducted by someone. If so, that's weird. Hey, did you tell anyone about that before the incident? Or was someone listening in on your conversation? No, it, she was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. That's it. That's all it was. Mikan wasn't going to kill multiple people. She was gonna kill Ibuki, and then it's like, oh shit, here's Hiyoko. Well, I can't let her get away, otherwise she'll tell everyone, so, uh, slash slash. Um... I never told this to anyone, and I do not believe anyone was listening in on our conversation. Nobody knew? If that's the case, how did the killer know Hiyoko was going to the music venue? They didn't. Hmm. Something's wrong. 
Sonia's account has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Okay. The bed isn't messed up. It doesn't look like she was abducted in her sleep. Yet she she went to her death completely unprepared. There's a mirror, but it's so small and rusty. There's no way anyone can use this. I don't see anything else that looks suspicious. There's no sign that someone made a mess of her room, and I don't think she was forcefully abducted. I feel like I couldn't really find any important clue. Oh well. No, you, you did. You did, Hajime. You found out something very important. Yeah, we're good to go. Next up, I believe, should be... The cinema, if I remember correctly. I'm very intrigued to see this film. Very, very intrigued. Okay, there we go. So here's the thing, from the Wizards of Monomy in the little gingham dress that Monokuma Hello is there. wearing. I'd say that it sounds like a parody of the Wizard of Oz, but I'm like, the Wizard of Oz didn't have multiple homicides. Why, hello there, Hajime. I knew you'd come here. That means you noticed it too, right? The case this time is an imitation case in which the killer used that movie as their theme. I wouldn't know. I haven't watched the movie yet. I see. I see. Then you really should watch this movie first. Hey! Hey, manager! A customer is here! Did you call me? Yes! Did you call me? Wah wah? Huh? Hajime's the customer? Do you have a problem with that? Well, yeah, you, you offered like a million dollars or whatever to not see the film and now you're gonna go see it. What are you gonna do? Hoo, hoo, hoo. And you said you didn't want to watch it, but I knew you wanted to see it all along. If that's what Sundari Hajime looks like, then you're a really tough guy. <laughs> You were so devoted to being Sundere, you even bought the Monokuma sticker for 1.5 million dollars! Huh? You paid 1.5 million dollars for a sticker? It's nothing. Listen up! In exchange for not watching this movie, Hajime paid 1.5 million dollars for a Monokuma sticker! On. Since we're talking about it anyway, why don't you show it to Nagido? Stop it! But my resistance was in vain, and Monokuma reached into my pocket and took the sticker. Ta da! See? It's this one! I'm sorry, I was born stupid! That's. You bought this for $1.5 million? <laughs> Poo, poo, poo. But in the end, he's still gonna watch the movie. Who cares about that anymore? Just hurry up and give me an invitation ticket. Here! Okay! Here you go! It already says so on the invitation ticket, but it's only effective today at this time. Okay. By the way, I can only give away one ticket per person. You only have one chance to watch it for free. The thing about it's only effective on this date at this time, this is going to be our alibi. I reckon at some point it's going to get turned on like, oh, Hajime must be the killer. He was, he was imitating the film. And then we can say, you know, no. That's wrong. We have this uh, this ticket that says we saw it today. We couldn't have known about it beforehand. Mm -hmm. I see you, game. I see what you're planning. By the way, I can only give away one ticket per person. You only have one chance to watch it for free. I've already stamped today's date onto the ticket, so you won't be able to cheat. Yep. 
That's our alibi. That's why we couldn't have done it. We only saw the film today. Don't worry. I only plan to watch it once. Look forward to it, okay? Then I'll go prepare the projection reel. Please, wait a bit, okay? Hey. Ah, Hajime, about that invitation ticket. I strongly recommend you keep that safe. Huh? Why? No reason. Just think of it as a protective charm. I... I, I, I'm trying to think of a decent way I can put this, but I can't, so I'm just going to be blunt. He's gay. He's gay and he's in love with Hajime. I just, I feel it. I see it in all of his dialogue. I'm just like, you love this man. You love this man, Nagito. I... He's even looking out for us. He's like, hey, you're going to need that because that's your alibi. You couldn't have known beforehand to so just keep a hold of it. I... I swear. I swear down. No reason. Just think of it as a protective charm. Movie's invitation ticket has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. I guess I should just wait until Monokuma finishes his preparations. Uh, yeah, the bag is gone. That reminds me, that item should be on top of the counter. Here's how many were there, though. Was it just one, or were there multiple? This one looks like a tote bag made of hemp cloth, with a decal of Monami's face on it. Ah! Oh, did that catch your eye? It's an all-purpose tote bag, useful for a variety of common tasks. It's a limited item! Only one person can have it! Ah, so we, there was only one. All we have to do is ask Monokuma who bought it. If the tote bag is gone, that means... What's this? Whoa there! Were you interested in buying that tote bag? Too bad! Well, that's just too bad! It's already sold out! Who'd you sell it to? You're so stupid! Stupid? There's no way I'd fall for that! There's no way I'd say something that'd reveal who the killer is! Ah, shucks. <laughs> so the killer bought it. Shocking! Ah! Ah! I remember you said there was only one because it's a limited item, right? Hmm... Ah! Uh, um... It's not limited to one! It's more like it's limited to one person. So there are multiple, but only one person has them all. I was gonna say, I, I was wondering if maybe Mikan used a generic tote bag from the store to do the, the camera footage. And then it was the Monami decal one that she placed on Ibuki's head because it would have been impossible for her to get from the conference room to the uh, the music venue before Hajime to place the bag and then hide. That would have been impossible. So it, there's more than one, but only one person can have them. Aha! Oh, um, it's not limited to one. It's, it's more like it's limited to one person. What's the difference? Hey, um... When you buy one bag, you get another free. It's, it's common practice to bait customers with bonus prizes. For some reason, hearing you say that pisses me off. Monokuma's account has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Well now. Now then, I should forget that I carelessly made a slip of the tongue. Now then. Looks like the preparations are complete, so please enter the theater right away. And with that, I am going to bring this episode to a close right here. In the next one, we finally watch The Wizards of Monomy. I'm very excited for that. But until then, please remember to like if you enjoyed, leave a comment below, and if you wanted to subscribe, it would be very much appreciated. 
I've been Callista. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode.